as I kind of like to say, uh, uh, being out of the forest and through time, you get out of the forest, out of the woods, where you can see the light in a sense of being able to look back at last year and recognize to be able to um, go through a year of, of being undefeated in league play, leaving the league on a 27-game win streak, winning over 30 games. How about us having another year of a perfect APR? How about having an opportunity to have 10 guys graduate, five juniors? And an interesting thing uh, Brad Stevens told me in the spring in a tournament in, uh, in Los Angeles, he said his, uh, he felt his greatest accomplishment as a coach, not the back-to-back -back finals championship games, it was the year when he went undefeated in league play. He was, because he was telling me how hard that is to do and um, that, you know, people don't fully understand that's nearly, you know, so, so hard to do. So looking back, it's a, it's a special, special thing. And uh, hopefully there's be a, you know, we can keep winning a lot of games. And, uh, but that, this past year was a special year. Uh, going into year five as, as uh, here at the program as, as the head coach uh, of the University of Memphis men's basketball team, um, you know, Tiger Nations program. Uh, I, um, my, I think we're, where we are is in a great spot. The program is extremely healthy uh, with recruiting academically, uh, um, athletically, in every, in every area. And uh, it's a very, very healthy program right now. I mean, look, you're, you're, you want to win a national championship. I want to bring this city a national championship. I really do. Um, but I also want to make sure that we continue to stay at a very, very high level uh, of the program, and there's no question. We're, you know, we're we've. What I'm proud of of our staff and players and the fan base. We've been able to maintain the program, you know, as a top 15 program, and that's a that's a special thing. You know, I think when I took over, uh, the the important things was just staying above water. I mean, we were drowning, and you needed to stay above water, and you were just looking for a life raft, a um, something to hold on to, um, you know, just to keep yourself above water. And um, I mean, we were dog paddling. I mean, for a while there, and it was tiring, but we were able to see some. We were able to get to uh, a place where we got some. Uh, uh, you know, we got to a to a to a small boat, kind of got us halfway on, and now we fully haven't made it to land, but we're darn near close to have made it to land. And I think that's we we've stabilized and we move forward now, uh, and moving forward and keeping the program uh, that momentum to keep it at a very very high level. Uh, next step, next couple steps of the program is we got to continue to try to continue to, to, to I, feel, I see a few things. I mean, one, we want to keep the consistency. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, I think it's important as we enter the new conference, we, you know, we want to try to compete for conference championships, which is going to be hard to do because this is a heck of a tough league. I mean, this is a great basketball league, so we're going to have to bring our A game every night. Then obviously you want to keep trying to uh, advance in the NCAA tournament. And, uh, but I will say, I remind everybody, it's not a birthright, not a birthright to win conference championships regular season, not a birthright to win conference tournament championships, and not a birthright to even make the NCAA tournament. So um, it's hard, hard to do, and this program, I'm just so proud of our, of our program that we've continued to, to be able to do that. Yeah, being able to work with the, with the guys through the summer with the new um, access allowed by the NCAA is a very positive, um, you know, for us, for our staff, for, for myself, for the assistant coaches, um, for the players. We're able to hold them accountable with, in a lot of different areas, especially in the classroom. Uh, whereas in years in the past, we weren't able to do we weren't able to do that because of uh, you know we we didn't have anything over their head as in terms of extra conditioning or running if a guy was a little late or anything like that because of the rules. Now, not only is the summer access good for individual workouts, but it's, I think it's most importantly great for ability to to really hold guys extra accountable during the summer, like we do during the fall and the spring. Uh, in the classroom setting for regarding study hall and, and classroom attendance. First of all, the TV package with the American is just absolutely awesome with the capital A. Um, I mean, we're, I mean, the exposure that we'll get is outstanding. Best it's ever been here at the University of Memphis is in terms of preseason and regular season uh, exposure. Just terrific. So important. I mean, national games, ESPN, national CBS all the time. I mean, big time stuff on that. Uh, the league is really good. I mean, this is a heck of a basketball league. I mean, look at this upcoming year. I mean, you got Louisville, Cincinnati, Connecticut, Temple, South Florida, Rutgers. I mean, people and people who know, I'm just telling you, SMU, Houston, and Central Florida are good, along with those other six I mentioned. This is a heck of a basketball league, heck of a league. Uh, and then, hey, anytime you can have the word American in something that you're doing, uh, uh, that's awesome. So uh, we're, we're very appreciative and Grateful to be in this great league.